What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Pioneer Guy 714 welcome back to another tool review. Today we will be taking a look at the Craftsman V20 cordless oscillating tool. So as, as you guys are aware, and for those of you who aren't aware, an oscillating tool is basically, it's a multi-tool that can be used for tight cuts, precise cuts, sanding, and just accuracy. So yeah, it's overall it has a really good build construction on it, like it's it fits pretty firm in, in my hand. Like these things vibrate though, so that's the only that's the only downside to them. But, but yeah, I mean, this this came with this came with a combo kit. Like I I bought a six tool combo kit, so I'm just reviewing these things one by one. So, but with it, it came with a wood cutting blade, a me, a wood and metal cutting blade, and a sanding pad. So it has a lot of oscillating tool accessories. So yeah, we're gonna run this thing through a couple tests and see how well she cuts. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I got some 5 eighths plywood behind me on this little jig I built. We're gonna see how well it side cuts through here. So yeah, let's, the way you get the blade on is you pull it, put it in, pull the blade clamp lever down, slide it on in. Once it clicks, you're, it's on, battery, and you're ready to go. This is a four amp hour battery that I bought separately because I don't use the small batteries for stuff, but yeah, let's see how well it cuts. All right. Wow, that cut pretty good. Yeah. Left a smooth cut too. It's just, yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good test. So didn't didn't really take too much time on it. So yeah, it left left a pretty smooth cut down here. Enough of that. Let's go on to the next test. All right, guys. For this next test, I got some nails driven into a board, and we're gonna see how well the metal blade cuts. All right, guys. Second verse, same as the first. Just grab the just grab the blade. Slide it on. Now, this is designed for wood and metal, so, all right, we going? Yeah, let's see how well it goes. I'm gonna lower the speed for this one, just, you know, so it doesn't damage the teeth up pretty bad. So, yeah. didn't really let's see didn't really let's see the teeth on the blade look like they're in okay shape but yeah they look like they're in okay shape I don't see any visible damage but yeah that cut through it pretty good I mean I know it it wasn't I wasn't accurate right with the speed you know so it kind of you know I had it kind of flew around a little bit so that's all right Next test, we're gonna be doing our final tests. All right, guys, we got some stuff that needs sanded off. So we're gonna see how well the sanding in part attaches. So, so once again, just put it on, it'll click into place. So let's see, I don't wanna be too aggressive on this wood because this is, this is poplar, but see how well it works.
All right, so, so, oh yeah, we're on, but yeah, anyway, guys, I thought that thing was paused, so, but anyway, guys, this thing, it's pretty good, I mean, the value of it, I did some research, and I think it runs, the individual tool, I think, is $70, $80, and the kit would be, like, maybe 125 but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good tool, I mean, I like it, I mean, especially when it comes with all these accessories, and these aren't the only accessories, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, in this in this final test, we're going to see how well this thing can and shave my hair. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not doing that. But <laughs> anyway, it's overall, it's a great tool. I love it, and it's another fine addition. I mean, it's not as good as, you know, the regular, you know, the Milwaukee's or the DeWalt's, granted. I know that. But for DIYers and tool beginners like myself, love it. So, yeah, if you guys, if you guys need anything or just let me know i'll put the i'll put the description on it so yeah once again this is pioneer guy 714 saying good day and good luck